what's up you guys, my fellow Whovians. Today it is time for Talk to Step by Step of the 8th Doctor. You know, the Doctor that was only in a movie. So, yeah, be sure to check out the last 7 I did of these. Holy shit. It's been a long time. Anyways, go check out all of them, because they're really good, so go check them out. Uh, yeah, because I'm not going to explain to you how this is going to work. I'm just going to start immediately, so there you go. Let's get started then. Number one, he was born on the 14th of November, 1959, in a Catholic household. Number two, he found his talent for acting because a teacher actually advised him to join the school play. Number three, he is the middle child and has four other siblings, three boys and one girl. Number four, in 1992, he married his first wife, whom he got two children with. They divorced in 2006. Number five, he has been in 24 movies and 38 TV shows in his lifetime. Number six, he's also very known for having played the role of Percy Topless in the series The Monocled Multineer. Number seven, he has reprised his role of the Eighth Doctor in 70 audio dramas ever since. So that's quite a lot. Number eight, he was brought back as a doctor 17 years later for the short... Doctor Who episode called The Night of the Doctor. Number 9, his brother Mark McGann also auditioned to become the 8th Doctor. Number 10, when he started as the 8th Doctor in the Doctor Who movie, he thought he was going to do series of these episodes. He did not know it was going to be a one-time thing. Okay, so obviously because this is a movie and because he only has one companion during the entire movie, I can't really do the My Perspective thing where I tell you my favorite episode, my least favorite episode, my favorite companion, my least favorite companion. And I can't show you a quote either because it will get constantly blocked by copyright. So I have instead cancelled out that part of the video. And I'm instead going to give you my review of the movie. So let's get started. My favorite thing about it was definitely that it didn't have these long scenes where nothing happened. Like the original series had all the time. My least favorite thing about the movie has to be the sudden love relationship that formed between the Doctor and Grace Holloway. It happened in literally like five minutes. It was ridiculous. My favorite moment in the movie has to be when Grace magically sets back time and kills the monster. My least favorite moment in the movie has to be in the beginning when the seventh Doctor is shot. It just doesn't make any sense. Why was he in Chinatown in San Francisco all of a sudden? He had nothing to do there at all. He was just there for some reason. It was just ridiculous. All right, I'm going to give it 5 out of 5 Tardises because it's an amazing movie. It's really, really good. Uh, I had completely expected it for it to be shit, but it was really, 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 really good. So I would definitely advise you to go check it out. You can actually watch it right here on YouTube, the full-length movie, by clicking right here. It is so good. It is so good. You should definitely give it a chance. You might not like it, you might do. I thought it was awesome, personally. So go check it out. Alright, that's it for me. I'm gonna see you next time. Hopefully, if you decide to subscribe, be sure to check out my main channel, be sure to check out my Facebook and my Twitter page, but most importantly, be sure to check out my next video, which you can watch right here. Alonzi! Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.